It's summertime, so it's hot. Go figure. That's pretty normal, right? Except I live in central Texas, just outside of Austin, Texas, and it's the middle of August, or really the start of August, and it's been beastly hot here for weeks, if not more than a month. I'm talking temperatures of well over 100 and no rain whatsoever. It's beastly hot, and as you know, if you've seen any of my videos about hot tubs and summertime, I do indeed have my hot tub set to economy mode where the heater only kicks in during the filtration cycle and I have the temperature set to 90, but I guarantee you my water temperature is nowhere near 90 and it's probably too hot to get in. Let's check it actually. I've got a handy dandy thermometer here. I use this for food primarily, but let's see what the water temperature is reading. It is reading, if you can see this, 109. Way too hot to get in, right? 104 is the maximum water temperature you would want to get in in your hot tub. And when it's 105 degrees outside, like it is today here in Central Texas, you're not going to want to get in water anywhere near 109, much less even 104. So I had the idea of let's get 10 bags of ice. I'm just talking regular ice from the grocery store and let's put them in the hot tub and see how much that actually cools it down. Ice is not that expensive. 10 bags cost me, I think, 20 bucks. So not that expensive, especially if it drops the water temperature significantly. And if you've got a big gathering coming up or something like that, if it works, and we're gonna find that out in a minute, it could be a great way to make the hot tub usable if you live somewhere like I do that gets beastly hot during the summertime. I will say though, that the economy mode trick that I use will work great in most places around the country, but, when it's as hot as it is and the sun's beating right down on my hot tub cover, essentially boiling the water underneath, there's literally no way for my water to get cool enough to soak in. But let's try the ice trick now. Hi, I'm Jeff Campbell from Hot Tub Owner HQ, and I'm glad you're here with me. So I do indeed just have regular two pound bags of ice. I'm just gonna pour them in. No one will be admitted during the scintillating adding ice to the hot tub scenes. All right, I'm down to the last three bags of ice. All right, that was 10 seven pound bags of ice added fairly quickly. I just bought the ice, so it hadn't really had time to melt much yet. But if you like this video and you wanna see more videos like it, hit that like button for me. It sends a great signal to YouTube. They show my video to more people just like you, helps me grow my channel, and it's a great way to say thank you to me for taking the time to make these videos. What I'm gonna do now, which I don't normally do in my videos, is turn the jets on to kind of melt the ice and circulate that cold water from the ice throughout the entire hot tub. Then we're gonna do another temp check and see how much difference it made. All right, I'm looking now to see if I see any traces of ice floating on the surface. And so far I don't. It's also worth pointing out that adding 10 seven pound bags of ice could radically alter the chemistry in our hot tub's water. I'm talking sanitizer levels, alkalinity, and pH. So it's worth checking with a test strip to see if we need to adjust those things now that we've added that ice and now that it's melted into the hot tub. So let's do that now. Just dip a test strip in for about two seconds. I'm gonna hold it up here. I'm gonna try and hold it so you guys can see it. As you can see, alkalinity and especially pH are way off the charts and my sanitizer level is really low. I use bromine tablets in a floater, so I just need to add more of those. It's probably also time for me to add shock. I haven't been as on top of my hot tub maintenance lately because I haven't been using it at all. But now the moment you've all been waiting for it, let's check that temperature and see if it made any difference. I don't know, I've never done this before. As you can see, it drops it down to 104.5. It does start to drop considerably the moment I take it out of the water, but it was reading 104.5 the moment I took it out of the water. That's considerably lower than the 109, and 104.5 is probably close enough to 104 to where you could soak in the early mornings or in the late evenings when it's not beastly hot outside and when the sun is not beating down on you. And you also know that if it dropped it that much with 10 bags, maybe 15 would drop it even more. Now, if you like this sort of experimental kind of hot tub video, I do have another recent video where I put bubble bath in my hot tub to see exactly what happened and more importantly, to see if I actually had to drain my hot tub in order to get the water clear again. It's a fun video. If you didn't watch that video, I want you to check it out right up here. But for now, I'll see you in the next video.